going back to my memory specifically of Katrina and my own family, I'm from New Orleans, and witness firsthand what can really go so wrong on so many levels when there's no one there to report and as houses are falling next to each other, is this house full up? What's going on here? What's going on there? And how you get people to talk to each other. That's what I found very interesting about the sort of birth of social networking post Katrina because lots of that information should have been shared in a way that would have made things so much easier in the long run. And because there's just location here, location there, and there's a, sometimes the phones work, sometimes they didn't. And, you know, I agree in the general sense of things are bigger. But that goes beyond, but the question that, that started out with how do we know someone's faking it or not, that's the price you pay for a society to have those options and those tools sometimes. I mean, there are ways technically to do anything and find out things, but I have a suspicion that a lot of times in any situation, there may be fake. There may be those options. I think that's a trade-off. I mean, I can verify you into the system, but once you're in the system, that becomes a little more difficult. Can we come after you after? the faking, so to speak, is done? Sure. But that that gets into one of these very broad kinds of questions about do you trade off a hundred rights for one wrong? 